Today I'm dehydrating peppers, and if you came to this video only to find out how to dehydrate peppers, I'm going to make this short and simple for you. All you have to do is wash your peppers, remove the stems and seeds, slice them up, put them on the dehydrator trays, and dehydrate them at 125 degrees until they are leathery. And this information is according to the Ball Blue book. This is not just the canning book. There's also some information in here about dehydrating and freezing as well. You can buy these books anywhere they sell canning supplies. They run about seven or eight dollars. And I'm not affiliated with the Ball Canning Company at all. Just trying to let you know where you can get a good resource for uh, preserving food. Now, if you have more time on your hands, the rest of this video is about two people helping each other through this life. It's about sharing and caring and peppers. <laughs> hope it helps. Hey Susan, if it's bell peppers you want, like you said about the tomatoes, I'm the man. I will fix you up. I got a bumper crop of bell peppers this year. These are the camelots that I planted in April of 2012. So they're about a year and a half old. And if you remember back in the uh, late winter, early spring, I cut them back to about this tall, about 18 inches. Just come in here and flat top these things all the way back down and uh, let them come back the second year. And I think they've done better this year than they did last year because I don't recall last year having to reach up to get to the top of these things. They're just absolutely huge right now. And you talk about loaded with some peppers. Look at these things right here. Bright red, fully ripe. I mean, there's a big difference in the taste too of the bright red peppers and one that's solid green. The green bell peppers that people are used to, they taste fine, but if you can ever get some of these uh, fully ripe ones right here, homegrown I'm saying, I don't, I don't know about the ones in the store, but homegrown, that's some good eating right there. So what I'm gonna do is uh, pick you about a five gallon bucket, throw them in the back of the truck, and uh, I'll see you in a little while. Mm. What oh, you think? they are beautiful. I told you they were going to be some nice ones. Thank you. How you been? Feeling good. All I get is a handshake. I was told to stay out of trouble. <laughs> if you don't give me a hug, you're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> How you been? Doing, Doing good. Doing good? Good to see you again. Thank you. I think you can do something with these right here. I sure can. think so? Well, like Donald always says, if one is good, two has got to be better. <laughs> Hey, you ask for peppers, I give you peppers. <laughs> I don't think I would eat peppers for the rest of my life. Uh, you can give them to your neighbors and everything then. Those are really nice. Thank you. Is that all I get? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now these are some nice peppers right here. These are really nice. Those are the, the camelots. I told you how sweet they were. They're almost like an apple on the end. What are you going to do with all these things? What I'm going to do is dehydrate them, grind them into a powder, and then when I want to make tomato soup, I'll have the red peppers that I need. I can just add them to the soup. Well, I got four jars in the truck that are empty. Can you refill them for me? I most certainly can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got a deal. I'll bring you the tomatoes, you fix the soup, and keep the jars refilled. <laughs> yeah, that's a deal. I'll be eating good. <laughs> that's a pretty good deal. Okay, like I said at the beginning, in order to dehydrate the peppers, all I do is wash them, remove the stem and the seeds. I just go in to remove that membrane. Then I wash them again to get all the seeds out of them. Then I slice them up into pieces that will fit on my little chop wizard. And that's one of the greatest little gadgets ever. As you can see, this little chop wizard does a great job. It chops the food into uniform sized pieces. I highly recommend this for dehydrating. Uh, so I chopped up the peppers, then I put them on the dehydrator trays and I dehydrated them at 125 degrees overnight. And I dried these until they were brittle because I wanted to grind them into the powder. Okay, here's what the peppers look like after they've been dehydrated. As you can see, they shrivel up to next to nothing. Uh, so what I want to do now is grind some of these into a powder that I can use when I'm canning tomato soup. What I'm trying to do is replace the step where I have to use fresh peppers and boil them, then grind them into a puree. This way I could just add some of the, the pepper powder and also plan on grinding some dehydrated onions into a powder as well. So to grind these, what I'm doing is 
I'm putting the peppers into this little coffee grinder and then just grinding it into a powder. And then I strain it out. So here's how the powdered peppers turned out. The next time that I can tomato soup, I won't have to worry about having fresh peppers on hand. I can use this instead. And I can also grind up some dehydrated onions and just toss them in there. Uh, the peppers were absolutely beautiful. As usual, Bobby grew these to perfection. Um, he, he's just an amazing gardener. And like I said, uh, this video was about two people helping each other through this life, about sharing and caring. And it's also about having fun. So I'm going to put some outtakes in here for you. I hope it helps. Well, what I planned on doing was dehydrating them, then grinding them into a powder. Then when I went... <laughs> All I did was wink at her. <laughs> now that... Dehydrating them and then grinding them to, into a powder so that when I want to can tomato soup and I don't have to tip <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even wink that time. <laughs> so I'm going to dehydrate these and grind them into a powder and when <laughs> I'm not going to stop. <laughs> when I want to can the tomato soup he just blinked at me again. <laughs> That's not gonna make sense that I'm putting an outtake in there. Start it over. <laughs> well, I get a handshake. I'm trying to stay out of trouble. <laughs> you don't give me a hug, you're gonna be in big trouble. How you doing? Doing you good. Doing? <laughs> 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 